We've got Shidi Ukeweke joining us on the phone to share his perspective as a brand strategist. Chidi is the head of business at Devon Choi Copa. Um, hello, Chidi. Do you think it is absolutely necessary for Fireboy to have a clear personality attached to his brand? What is a clear personality? I think that's the, that's the most important question. For an artist, yeah? For someone whose primary primary job is to create music for us to listen to, what is a clear personality? Is it not a sound thing? Is it not the uniqueness of his voice? I feel like that's that's like the most important thing. And I and I'll go back and I reference examples like um, who, who was it Adele back in the day? Adele was told different things about how she should change her look and all that and all that and all that, but she stuck to her roots. She stuck to the most important thing, which is her, her music, and that is what has made her who she is today. I understand the calls for, you know, trying to sound different from everybody else, trying to look different from everybody else, but this guy, this guy is less than two years in the industry and he's already come this far. Let's not put pressure on him to change who he is. Are we trying to make him different from who he is because we want him to stand out? I don't, I don't buy into that, to be honest. I don't. However, you know, we cannot deny that there is a constant confusion when figuring out who um, Fireboy is away from jo Joe Boy. Now, coming from that angle, do you think they need to work more on Fireboy's identity to make him stand out? Do I think he needs to work more on his identity? Um, now, if I were talking brands, yeah, if I'm talking from a brand perspective, I'll tell you, okay, so you could tweak this, you could um, be out there more, when I say be out there, or maybe post more on social media, you know, make skits, maybe do this, do that, you know, um, get on billboards, do something in the charity space, you know, basically do something that Joe Boy isn't doing. But then, this is a conversation I cannot have because I don't know Fireboy enough to know if he would thrive in these conditions. You understand? So, if people say they can't separate him from a Joe Boy, for, for example, then these people are not enthusiasts. Because his, his, his most popular videos, his most popular work, he has his face all over him, all over them, brother. He, he, has, he, has, a, he has a thriving social media account where he you know, actively engages people. If you want to see his pictures, go there. I thought his album cover was really, really um, bare, if you ask me. There wasn't a lot of design. It was simple, and now I understand why it was that simple. It was simple because it was just his face. Laughter, tears, goosebumps. It was just his face. If at this stage you've you've um, streamed his music, you've gotten his music, you've watched his YouTube videos, you follow him on social media, you can't still say you don't know Fireboy. Okay, so from your perspective, would you say you see any sense in what that's for lack of a better word in what Oye Mike is trying to convey? So again, yeah, this, as soon as I saw it, I felt, nah, this is this is unnecessary, you know. Um, but then, I am somebody who likes learning, yeah? so I've listened to plenty of feedback, I've seen all the arguments about it, and why I still feel like it's a non-issue, I work in brands, I work in communications, why I still feel like it's a non-issue, yeah? I do see why people would say that, because even though I can separate Joe Way from Fireboy and Fireboy from all the other new artists with dreadlocks and all that, if many people are saying, or if few people are saying they can't, that means there is a problem or there is a challenge or there's something that could be fixed. Yeah. So what he said, while I might not agree with it totally, there is an argument there. Again, this is a conversation I can have if I have had a conversation with Fireboy and why be in there to understand what the direction is. Now you talk about you talk about um, um face, you talk about identity. Fine. Not everybody, not everybody, not everybody's face is obvious. I mean, most music is bigger than them, which is also fantastic. I, I, I don't think I know what Sia looks like. Mm. But then she has an identity, which is fine. Nobody knows what Lagbaja looks like till today. So you can walk, walk, walk across anywhere. And, you know, sometimes these artists want to be so big, but then they still want to maintain some privacy. They want to be able to disguise themselves, you know, walk the streets and walk the malls. It helps to mental health. It helps to clear in their heads. So, in the end, at the end of the day, we need to ask Fireboy, people need to ask Fireboy, what do you really want out of this? Do you want to be a pop star whose, whose face is all over the place, or do you want to be able to have some time to yourself? Too? Hmm. I like that he's 
um, particularly about what Fireboy wants, mm. not what everybody wants. So does he want to have his face all over? He wants to maintain a level of privacy. And I think um, this conversation is now left to Fireboy and yeah. his team to know if they are fine with what they have now or they want more. Yeah, because either way, it's good. Like, we don't have to know your face. And if we do know your face, it's also like each 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 part, path that they take has an advantage and a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So it's really up to him. But if you're not a big fan and you know, following him on social media and every post that he makes, you would have, you would understand where uh, Oyemike is coming from. But if you do, then you wouldn't see an argument to it. So I feel like he's not completely mischievous. Like if you actually wanted to know what he looks like, I'm just not going to take my time to do that. I just found his music like recently. Yeah. So, um, but if I become a fan and I want to search, I feel like he would know what he looks like, but he's not put it, putting it in your face. Well, um, I think Chidi Okereke has done um, justice to this conversation because he said everything I was thinking and um, if, like he said, he would be able to differentiate Fireboy, but when he went in, with the reactions we saw now, there's still a lot of people that agree to what Oye Mike is saying. So because um, of what those people have said, we cannot actually push it aside and be like, okay, Oye Mike doesn't have a point. But like you rightly said, some of us follow him, so we know what it looks like. If I see Fireboy coming like a mile away, I'll be able to tell like, oh, yo, that's Fireboy. Do you understand? But not everybody can do that. Do you understand? So I think it's, it's a balanced equation right now. So he's left to his team to decide whether, okay, we want his face out there. And if it's a strategy for the sound to go farther than his face, and then when you get used to the sound, then we'll bring out the face of Fireboy. Then all well and good. I think every artist evolved from one thing. And some people have very um, recognizable faces, and some don't. Do you understand? Like, I see a lot of people, like, I met just once, and then the next time they see me, they're like, oh, yo, and I'm trying to remember, like, where did I know you from? Do you get what I mean? So, they're, they're, it's not everybody that has that face that you can just... But as a bad guy, you have that face. So people just, like, remember you. I just saw that flex, but okay. <laughs>